What do several historic villas, a palace, a theatre, a former church, a lighthouse and a former customs office have in common? They are all among the 22 treasures owned by Italy's Di Manio State Property Agency that are being put out under concession for up to 50 years. The aim is to recoup these assets, combining tourism, culture, environmental protection and sustainable transport, opening them up to the public, removing them from the threat of degradation and making the most of them in economic and social terms. They are being entrusted to private entities that are capable of restoring, reusing and managing the properties. It is possible to respond to the call for tenders and present a bid until 12 o'clock on May the 19th, 2022. The properties are spread out across the nation. They have a rich range of variety. They have a high value in terms of history and identity and they are entwined in their landscape and urban environments as well as in the social and cultural fabric of their local communities. One of the biggest pieces of real estate is the former Caserma Caldieri Barracks on the seafront of the island of Ortigia in Siracusa, the main structure of which dates back to the 17th century. The building, which was originally a convent before being turned into a barracks and a military hospital, can be considered to have its historical home in the 19th century, the period in which it was renovated. In San Nicola Arcella, in the province of Casenza, we find the Palazzo dei Principi Lanza di Trabia, which was built at the end of the 18th century and was the summer residence of the Lords of Scalea, the Spinelli family. The building looks out onto a stretch of the Tyrrhenian Sea and the view goes from Punta dei Infreschi in the Cilento area to Caposcalea in the north of the province of Cosenza. From Calabria we go to Liguria, where in San Remo you can find Villa Leita, previously Villa Boyd, which sits in its own park and was built at the start of the 20th century in a prestigious 19th century district on the hilly area by the coast. Situated on a plain to the southwest of Florence, on the other hand, is Villa Carducci Pandolfini, a 15th century horseshoe shaped structure built on the remains of a 13th century tower. The complex is famous for its fresco cycle depicting well-known men and women done by Andrea del Castagno around 1455 under an arcade that was subsequently transformed into a hall. From Tuscany we return to Sicily with the San Vito prison at Agrigento, construction of the central body of which started in 1432. Built as a convent, in 1578 Pope Gregory XIII gave it over to an order of reformed monks who were hosted there for four centuries. After the unification of Italy in 1861 and the subsequent reforms, the property was bought by the state and transformed into a prison in 1862. The list also features some very special properties. There is the historic Teatro Rossi Theatre in Pisa and the former San Cristoforo Church in Mantua, along with medium-sized buildings situated along sustainable tourism itineraries. The initiative is part of the Valore Paese Italia project that sees the Demanio Agency work with the Culture Ministry, Tourism Agency Enet, Diverso Servizio SPA and other institutional partners such as ANAS and ANCI Fondazione Patrimonio Comune. The project aims to bring together, under the same brand, the networks that seek to valorise properties of cultural and landscape interest, helping the development of new activities linked to sustainable tourism, culture, sport, training and sustainable transport by a public-private partnership instruments. Among the objectives of Valore Pace Italia is that of creating a system to support slow, sustainable tourism linked to the valorisation of public assets.